Hello, I'm Skid, and welcome to episode four of my, I was about to say Final Fantasy, my Monster Hunter Rise playthrough. Um, today we need to get in, in some work with the bow, but I realised while I was editing yesterday's episode, there was a thing we should have done before we finished. They're safe. The Bunny Dango are safe. We actually should have spoken to her to finish the quest. How about this weather? Hmm? Welcome back. That great um, Zuchi. Uh, that great Zuchi has been hunted and the ingredients have been safely or delivered safely. Yamagi is back to, uh, to her usual routine and I am no longer in panic mode. Crisis averted. And now, as a reward for the defender of Dango, you can take on two star quests. Uh, you're on your way to the top, uh, but you're nowhere out of the woods yet. Uh, more dangerous threats await. Make sure you uh, make sure to prepare well. How are you today? Okay. Come again. So quest can take a back seat for a second. We need to get in a brief a bit practice with the bow. Oh, and that was one other thing. I meant to do this off camera. Um, melee weapon. Is R bound to anything? It's not. I have no idea why they wouldn't bind it to anything. Let's rebind. Weapon slash white blood medical. Let's rebind that to R. And see how that feels. Although we're now going on a ranged weapon, which is going to be using an entirely different control set. So we may end up messing around with that some more. Can we get to the training area from here? We can. Close range coating. So hold control. Uh, is there any reason that I would need to hold control to do that? Why can't I just have that bound to that button and that button? We should probably look at the controls before we continue. This might actually be helpful. Uh, let's see. Is weapon or is coatings in here at all? Ride in. Made your menu. Doesn't look like it. Item bar, hold Vita camera. I don't mind that being the case. Is it the case that... No, that mouse wheel is still doing that, so... I may just make do with what they have for now and then mess around um, with a specific later. Uh, but first things first, let's mimic things. How did we change things in here? Right mouse button is vertical. Oh, I suppose that's because this is going to be aim now. Okay, no. Well, mess around with the controls as they are. I will adjust them later if I need to. Let's put this back on close range coatings. And let's look at the actual control scheme. So, right mouse button is aim, left is shoot. Um, that is melee attack. That's not a terrible one. <laughs> that combination is quite literally impossible. <laughs> I cannot do that on my mouse. So, if you're coming in late, the two buttons there are mouse 4 and 5. These are typically bound to, in Windows, the forward and back buttons. Um, so if you're on a browser, they're the same as the ones you would have in the um, top window. One will take you back to whatever page you navigated before, and one will take you forward to whichever one you just left. On my mouse, they're bound to tilt mouse wheel left and tilt mouse wheel right. Something that is literally impossible to do at the same time. Uh. Okay, let's change load and unload coat into 
Now let's change melee attack. No, melee attack to um middle mouse button. Hmm. Aim. I need to be able to do the dragon piercer. I sele is selecting coating bound to the same things? I think they were separate. I think we can keep them as they are. Load, reload, remove coat and silk bind. Special attack, weapon drawn. Which is the melee attack. Let's have that be R, that be zero. Take that! We should probably be aiming at these things. This is for my fellow hunters. Remember travel time. Okay, that isn't that unintuitive. I think I can manage with that. And then selecting coast and still that. Um, given that left and right map are not bound to anything anymore, I would like to remove the control. There's no reason for them to be bound to anything. Um, can I literally just remove? Can I empty? Which one is it? Let's assume it's even in here. Item bar, hold, reset camera. I think it's just using that button. I think it's collectively that button, so I can't unbind it. And I've not seen an option in here that allows me to not use it. I've been writing control, star menu, mouse wheel, settings, action bar. Item bar, keyboard settings. Okay, that changes the mouse wheel to that. So yeah, I think I've got to use control. I don't think I can modify that. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Melee attack is zero now. Load and unload um, coating is R. We can change coating with that. It does mean we can't strafe right if we want to do some things, but that's fine. But we can, we just have to reposition our fingers. It's a hell of a lot easier than using the middle mouse button. Okay, so shoot, um, draw the bow tightly, consuming stamina, erases the arrow damage and tears. Uh, you can also raise the damage tiers by shooting in quick succession or by dodging uh, after a shot and immediately shooting again. So one thing I've never be or never used the bow enough to get a feel for is like the most effective way to get the most damage out of um, effectively what this is saying here. That the it's effectively a um, a combo attack. Each time you. Um, uh, do an attack, then it attacks more powerful the next time and more powerful the next time. I think the number of times it does that is dependent upon the bow you're using. I think it's a specific parameter in the bow as to how many times you can do it, so how many times it scales. So yeah, it's like whether just attacking straight or it's like attacking and dodging and then attacking, etc. Arc shot. Uh, so that's the upward shot. Special support type arrow into the air, which buffs all players in the area when they land. That's different. The arc shot didn't or used to be just a variant of attack. This makes it sound like the bow is now a support weapon, rather than a straight up damage weapon. Gravity restores the health time, increases the affinity for a short period of time. Uh, brace neg uh, negates knockback for a short period of time. There are three types. Is that dependent upon the bow? Uh, use coatings to add effects to arrows, close range boost damage in exchange for diminished range. Um, power coating increase attack power, paralysis and all these we know. Focus shots. Uh, silk bind attacks activated by pressing shift and R. Um, use the wire bug to evade backwards. 
Uh, landing in the crouch position. While crouched, stamina rapidly regenerates. If timed right, you can nullify a monster's attack. Um, it, that's not... If timed right, you can nullify a monster attack while evading. Which implies... Not necessarily that it has invincibility frames, but that if you time it right, um, the attack, even if it hits you, won't have any effect. Otherwise, why not say that it just has invincibility frames, like it does in the long sword? Um, you can also use the directional controls to change the way you evade. Um, Herculean Draw. Silkbound skill activated with Shift-0. Surge forward um, in a, de a designated direction. Attack also empowered. Attack is also empowered for a short time. Draw Arc Shot. Draw Shoot. Power Shot. Press quickly. We only have one set of combos, so these are going to be listed. So let's just go through these combos. Oh no, because the combos aren't listed. That's one or another thing that I'm pretty bad about this uh, with um, the bow. Keeping an eye on my stamina. Uh, okay. So let's see. And then arc shot was not that. It was that. Let's have a quick look at the weapon information. Charge shots, level 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Uh, this, or oh, this I really should consider locking on with. Stamina recover. Have a look at the combos again in a second. I'm not sure that's charging up. I suppose I have three charge levels in this weapon. Let's see. Uh, hold, draw, arc shots. Draw, shoot, and then power. Okay. Yes, there is a timing. Ideally, I think you're aiming for the point at which it flashes. Um, let's apply coating. 
and make sure we're nice and close. Okay, this is a um, this bow has a Pierce type arc shot. So not um, not a Pierce type arc shot, a Pierce type. Have most of the coatings. Uh, Dragon Shot, I've just forgotten the name of it. <laughs> I have not been very chatty during this section, I apologise. Trying to figure this out because it's a, it's a simpler set of things but it's slightly harder to execute on them and to use the might. Dragon Piercer. Oh, maybe um, Dragon Piercer always goes through in this one. Which would make sense, because it's called Dragon Piercer. What am I thinking of? I think I'm just thinking of the fact that um, some bows have specifically ba piercing basic attacks. Charge one, charge two. Charge one. Okay, that chained together correctly. Two, three. Okay. Ah, that's useful knowledge. That's what the colour means. The colour is a rangefinder. So I'm in max damage range from here. It does take coating into account. In the grand scheme of things, there's not much difference between the range of the two. It's like three extra bodies length. It's almost non-existent, so I don't know why you'd ever want to use anything other than. You're done for. That's not what it says to use. So that actually lasts a while, so you want to be using that as often as you can to keep it up. It doesn't look like... yeah, because now it's gone. That is not the weapon. Wicked and draw. Attack... yeah, attack is also in power to etc. Draw your bow from entirely consuming stamina, but raising arrow damage... Oh, that's shoot. Silk bind activates and surges forward with the designated action. Attack is also empowered for a short time. So yeah, use it whenever the monster charges past you to regain distance and then just unleash hell. Okay. That is 20 minutes of me trying to figure this stuff out. We will most likely cut some of that out. Uh, I think the orange ones are just people we need to talk to that are just going to tell us basic things. So let's quickly run around these. Yeah, you've got new stock, don't you? Uh, I've got some new stock for you since you're doing such a great job. Take a look before you go on your quest. I imagine that's also going to have completed the one outside. Near the steelworks. Oh, the Argus has stock now. Uh, cut screens haven't been fixed yet. Hayden's looking into it. Yes. He also thinks he knows, or at least at the time of the recording, he also thinks he knows what's causing the crashes, but he's not had, or well, he needs some other people to um, help him hex edit it. 
which I said I'd give him a hand with, but he hasn't been um, about today. A new stage for Splendid Wares. Hunter, we're finally ready. Uh, ready for the most magnificent trading you and I uh, you and I shall ever undertake. Allow me to explain. First, uh, you will borrow this submarine. Uh, you may use it to send a buddy off to far, far off markets to collect items of your choosing. Second, you may also purchase my wares from, Ar uh, from the Ar Odyssey. Argosy. Uh, I intend to keep a stock, or keep it stocked, uh, with items that are rare. There are that are rare finds in camera. I will accept camera points as currency in this case. Uh, consider the prospect well, uh, and then you make your purchase as you please. Now do come by whenever you wish to enjoy the wonders of travel and trade. Until we meet again. Uh, the Argus is a mercantile vessel run by Rodina, uh, the trader, uh, that is moored at the Buzzy Pla Buddy Plaza. Uh, while its primary purpose is bartering with the village, uh, it has offered items for tr or it often has item... Let's try again. While its primary pur purpose is for bartering with villagers, uh, it also offers items for trade that are highly beneficial to hunters. Uh, new items are added um, as you progress through the story, uh, so drop by now and then. So we only have the one submarine. Order items. Uh, order items allows you to send out a buddy to purchase items of your choosing. Upon your request, uh, they will set out uh, in one of the uh, Argosies. Uh, Argosies. Argos. That's Argosies. Yeah, I was right the first time around. Argosies um, submarines uh, to various locales uh, to trade for your item or trade for your items. Uh, while you hunt, your buddy will fulfill your request. Goes, the more you rush, the more you lose. It's important to take your time when necessary. I will do if you'd let me speak. Uh, and have the items waiting for you in a special box when you return. Um, from order items, you can use Kamo's points to choose a bargaining skill for your buddy. Uh, a great variety of these skills are available for high-level buddies, but all of them help um, obtain more items per trade. Uh, try these out if you want to get the most out of trading. Trading quest. Ready, Palico. The one I want I don't think is in here. Um, actually no, because um, it'll be made of power shrooms and something else. What is it? What are the two things you need to make tranquilizers? Exchange for items. Exchange for items allows you to spend comma points in exchange for items. Uh, it can even yield some items not usually available on the market in this town. Crafting materials and other items you won't normally find in the market can often be required through trade goods. Uh, the basic options for exchanging points. Under special goods, uh, you can acquire hanging spoils to decorate your room with. Uh, a wider selection of scrolls will be offered at the Argus's uh, as you hunt more monsters. Under their finds, you'll be able to trade for various items uh, like pitfall traps. These articles are only available while the Argus's manager manages to get them in stock, uh, but they can be quite useful uh, if you can get your hands on them. Stop by every now and again and see what the uh, uh, Argosy has in store. So what does it have in store? Black, black ore. Decorative jewel from Desert Town fetches a good price. So that's an exchange point for money. And they only have one of them. Why not? Let's at least get complete. some trades in. Nets, gunpowder, raw meat, herbal medicine, energy drinks. Okay, let me just craft list. It may not be listed in here yet because we may not have found the materials for it. Traps in the fence. Smoke bomb, sonic bomb, poison meat, pitfall traps, bow bomb, large bow bomb, 
it's either here or this is a bouncing bomb and it's not actually in this section. Yeah, either I can't currently craft them or I don't currently know how to craft them. Okay, we'll not worry about any of that for now. Let's run over to the blacksmith. We've been wasting enough time this episode already. I want to at least get at least one hunting. Oh yeah, give me more, hey. please. I heard you've been doing pretty well now. Not that I expect anything less than my rookie. I took in my will. To help you keep up with good work, here's some more great wire bugs I caught. I hope you find them useful. Some butt. You have more wares in stock. Welcome. Ah, good Titan must be scared. And I have stocked especially items, especially mm. blah blah blah. Yes. See you later. Uh, sometimes when you return from a quest, the market will host a sale. Um, during the sale, most items are offered at half price. You can also enter a lottery once. Uh, you can spend Zenny uh, or lottery tickets to enter the lottery and receive a prize depending on your luck. Uh, there's plenty of, plenty of room decoration tickets to win, uh, so watch out for sales and that. Not really interested in doing anything for the sale at the minute because I imagine that's mostly cosmetic. What's uh, looking for? Large barrel bombs, trap toolkit. We need to buy some of those, but we really don't have much money. So we may just not worry about it for now. Take yeah. care. Okay. So... Your room, hub prep area. I imagine that's just going to be my house cat telling me that I can um, manage the odyssey. From the house cat. Oh, hey. hey Skid, can I ask you something? Uh, I'm working on some Palamut gear ideas, uh, stuff that should be a big help when you're out hunting. I've managed to complete one thing, or complete one thing that I'm rather proud of, but I need someone to test it out for me. Uh, it's a little finicky though, um, so I can only entrust it to someone able to properly train a Palamut. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can train one of your Palamutes, I'll be happy to give it to you. What do you think? Raise a Palamut to level 5. It is almost there. Not quite yet. Look. Okay, let's get a quest done. Funny Dongo or a taste of heaven. Okay. Monster, let's go with that one. Let's have a look. We still have some one-star quests left to do. Here's the quest but list. I think... Yeah, they're minor things. We won't worry about those for now. We'll see if there's a... Yep. There's a few big monsters in here to hunt. And that's the one we just did. This one's always a fun one. Uh, rabbit Rabbit. A Lagombi. Uh, which one is it? Oh, that's in a frozen island. Out cold. We won't go to the new local locale yet. We'll do that tomorrow when we have to test all three weapons. Because that's the plan. Although I do need to do two quests today, so maybe we will go today? We'll see. Good luck. Let's not forget to eat. So hopefully it won't crash in the middle of this. Uh, calculator increases the number of combo points. Increases damage dealt by kunai, deflector. No was prevented from getting locked in your butt. So I increase health from recovering items. Speed of weapon sharpening, which isn't relevant. Let's see how bad things go. Roaming hill and dale. A gluttonous brute leaves a sluggish trail. Attempts to sate its hunger prove of no avail. It keeps eating more and more. 
And with every bite, it succumbs yet further to its destructive appetite. Hopefully someday these cutscenes will be displayed correctly. So what's actually happening here is, um, according to Hayden, it is actually rendering at the full width and then just blacking out the left of my monitors. Uh, but because it's basically just stretched out to that full size, then it's cutting off the top and top and bottom as well. Flash bombs. I really need to go through these and figure out where I want all of them bound. Where is it? Oh, we have two monsters on this map. Oh, we've changed the wirebug key, haven't we? Which is... What did we change the wirebug key to? Which one is technically wirebug now? I thought it was R. Oh, wait, no, you need to... It's aim and then that, or... What would be the other one? What's... If that's forward, what's up? Melee? That's still forward. So both of those are forward, so that must mean that R is up. Okay. Where's the quarry? Area 7. Let's get going. I think we can get through there. What's this? Uh, no, we can't get through there. We have to go this way. Is that coating equipped? I wonder what happens if I jump off. What happens if I jump off of this and do it on fire? <laughs> Take this! Oh no, you don't! He <laughs> just ran away. <laughs> okay, so that's how I know if it's equipped. Ignore that thing. Faster. It's space to dismount. my weapon away. Oh, that also wasn't what I wanted to do. That wasn't the button I wanted to press, but that works! Yeah. Ah, goddammit! There's gotta be an easier way to draw my weapon. Worth a try. Damn it, I hit the button but it didn't go off quick enough. Hope you go! 
got insurance! This is for my fellow hunters! That wasn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> but I'll commit to it anyway. Okay, that was it. It's Shift R is backwards and it is Shift Zero is forward. My dodge wasn't quick enough. You're a lifesaver. Missed! I disagree! <laughs> I hit the button, but my weapon wasn't drawn, so it didn't do anything. this stuff and then get after him. Yeah! Not now. Dismount, attack. Whoa, he backed up a lot further than I was expecting him to. Waiting for the last minute to dodge, and I shouldn't be. It's not how this game works. You're done for. I missed the chance. <laughs> I need to move that at some point. Got away. Go. So get after it. Let's grab that while I'm at it. Yeah, absolutely not going well at all. We do have power coatings, but we missed the opportunity to use them. Sweet. We should have used them while it was tired. Oh, God damn it! Not the button I should have pressed or wanted to press. now. Maybe I should try and unify... I've gone entirely past where I need to be. Maybe I should try and unify... Um, let's see, let's jump. Not space. I know it's space in pretty much every other game. It's C here. Space does other things. You can't dodge on top of this thing. The only thing you can do is dismount. Maybe I should mo uh, change it so that um, Sweet. C is dismount and space is jump. Yes, let's do that. 
Make the game obey how your brain thinks this stuff should work. Um, assuming it will actually let me buy them differently. It looks like they were fighting over there. Wolves? Uh, Palico. Ah, yeah. That's the problem. Dismount is not a, bu a button. You can um, pind manually. Because F me, I assume. Good lord. Why do they have some... Some of these are just the weirdest things. Right. There's no reason that space should be a diff or that... There's no reason that Dismount from Palico shouldn't be its own binding. running away already? I say no. And take a smack to the face. Damn it, I didn't press zero. I pressed R. Hang on, no, that is what R is. No, I was right. R is dodge. So why didn't that work? This is for my fellow hunters! Melee attack is so strong. Get ready. Here comes the pain. That wasn't the button I wanted to press. He missed anyway. Out of stamina. Do I still have rations left? I have one left. Damn it, I was trying to roll to the side of it. Oh, okay, fair enough. I was trying to use a wirebug attack without actually having any wirebugs active. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Can't cancel out of it. Wasn't what I was trying to do. I was trying to do arc shot. No, put the coating on. I want you to do that. Just a bit more. Come on, let's get after it. Go. Mine now.
buddy. You're probably not letting my health stay that low. I think it's going to be out of range before it goes off. God. It hit him? Oh no, it hit something. It hit something, but it didn't hit what we were aiming at. Hey, give. I'm going to need some of your parts. Are these just fat raccoons? Let's get after that thing. Faster. Can I equip that here? I want it to go to sleep. God damn it, not the button I wanted to press. Take this. This is a mistake. <laughs> I hit the button and there was a flash there, but I don't know whether or not... That did not go well. Put your weapon away. This is getting put this to good use. That did not go well at all. <laughs> I thought we were 50 minutes in now. We don't have enough time for another go. I didn't go well not because the weapon is bad, it's just because I am well out of practice in using it. And it requires a different mindset than use of a melee weapon. I'll put this to good use, don't worry. We did it! Well, we didn't cart. <laughs> I suppose that it could have been worse, but we did use way more Mega Potions than we had any right to use on a quest of this level. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, bonus points from that. Sultan has leveled up, is now level 5, health boost, attack boost, learned... Ah oh yeah, these are all new skills. These are all new skills. The new cut screen has been added to the gallery. Okay. One subquest can be reported, which is this one here. Okay. I heard from some folk at the Buddy Plaza that your Palamut training is going well. Here, have this. I know you, um, you'll be... Uh, I know it'll be in safe hands with someone with your level of experience. And let me know how it performs uh, so I can improve uh, my future pieces, okay? 
healing blade scroll and diver uh, di yeah diversion scroll which are just a couple of extra weapons that we can use anything else no well we'll call it there because we are 50 minutes in and i need to edit this tonight <laughs> good lord that went way too bad i can't scrap this episode though because people will see the quest has been done and they will be wondering why aren't we taking on that guy there we need more practice and we'll get a little bit more tomorrow. At least tomorrow for you. I don't know when I'm going to record the next episode. Probably tomorrow as well, to be fair. But the plan is for tomorrow. Excuse me. Uh, the plan is for tomorrow. Um, we'll do one hunt with the longsword, one hunt with the insect glaive, and one hunt with the bow. I am leaning towards the insect glaive. Um, with a bit more practice on the bow then maybe that'll change my mind. Uh, the long sword feels familiar. I know I'll get my hat. Uh, it doesn't look like they've changed much, so I'm fairly sure I'll get, my, get the hang of that once I've been practicing a bit more. Um, but yeah, the, the insect lathe is currently the way that I am leaning. Um, we're not going to be making any more weapons or armor until we have made that decision. Um, so that's the plan for tomorrow. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show, and hopefully I will see you next time. Cheerio.